okay. Relax. Whatever you want. Good. Now who else knows about this? That's a big gun, by the way. Oh. Why? What are you gonna do? She's gonna shoot me. No one, I just found out. Oh gee, well, that's my neighbor, the mailman, the donor girl on the corner. Uh, probably being sarcastic won't help me out. Why? What are you gonna do? Whatever the hell I want. You just broke into my house. Fine. I'll get out of here. You won't see me again. Well, you'd like that, wouldn't you? You'll run straight to the police. Uh, that's not my style. I don't rip people out. What would I even say? That I found this creepy painting of a murder that happened two decades ago. Please put the gun down. You're not a killer, Sue. Let's hope she responds well to this. Please, put the gun down. You're not a killer, Sue. You psychic? You have zero fucking idea what I'm capable of. If this ever gets out, you know he'll be put away. They'll lock him up in some horrible institution. My turn. I understand that you're scared, but I'm just trying to find the truth. I'm not out to get anyone. He killed his sister, Sue. Have you considered that a place like that might be the best for him? Yeah, that's very true. I agree with this. He killed his sister, Sue. Have you considered that a place like that might be the best for him? How can you say that? You know what those places are like, considering what you did to your mother? It's worse than prison. And not only do they take away your freedom, they force feed you a mouthful of mine dollars every morning. I have to protect him. <laughs> uh oh. I'm Oops. sorry. God, I'm so sorry. I made a mistake. <laughs> Game over. I'll get a second chance. <laughs> Thank God. Alright, so I gotta give the right answers because she's gonna kill me otherwise. I thought we were friends. We smoked and left together. But I guess not. Uh, let's just be honest then. No one I just found out. No one. I just found out. Good. Now, we're in kind of a jam, aren't we? How do I know you won't squeal on us as soon as I let you out of here? Yeah, how do you know? What should I say? What would I even say that I found a script depending on the murder that happened two decades ago? Well, I hope she res responds well to reason. What would I even say? That I found this creepy painting of a murder that happened two decades ago? You'll figure something out. You're so fucking clever, aren't you? Oh, uh, no. <laughs> That's not the word I'd use considering the situation I'm in. Exactly. I suppose you got a point there. If this ever gets out, you know he'll be put away. They'll lock him up in some horrible institution. So I should not say this. He killed his sister because then she gets angry and shoots me. I understand you're scared, but I'm just trying to find the truth and not allowed to get anyone. I'll say I would never let that happen to him. Hopefully she will let me live. I would never let that happen to him. That's so. You already let that happen to your own damn mother. You expect me to believe you give a shit about us? Oops. Mom was different. Believe me. That was a long time coming and I still think about it every day. Look, Sue, the only reason I'd ever tell anyone about this is if I really thought Nathan was dangerous. You're telling me he's not? That boy wouldn't have hurt a fly. The only way he could have done such an awful thing is if his sister pulled him so deep into her world of lunacy he didn't know up from down. So you think she made him do it? Of course she did. Just look at the bloody painting. It's obvious she planned it. Yeah. I guess it would seem that way. <laughs> Pardon me, his answer for doing that to Nate. That's the real reason I gave up the paintings. They were nothing but painful reminders of when Lily's misery was front, left, and center. But still, she was my little girl, and I miss her so much. But Nate's all I have now, and I'd rather die than let anyone take him from me. I understand that. I can help, Sue. I'm sure there's more to all of this. My grandfather knew too, but 
someone or something got to him when he came too close. You and him are really alike, you know? I, uh, people say that. Where is Nathan now? I just want to talk to him. He took a boat out on the lake. There's this place where he and Lily knew used it. to go. An island. Okay, how can I get there? There's another boat down on the dock. A bit shabby, but you can probably fix her up. I'll give it a shot. I'm gonna walk out of here now, Sue. Go, before I change my mind. I'm gonna talk to my boy if you must, but don't come back in here. I don't trust myself right now. No kidding. You take care of yourself, Sue. Christ, that was close. No, it wasn't. There's a drawing here. Should I take that? It's probably Nathan's. He dropped that. Oh, what's this? Looks like another of Nathan's drawings. He must have dropped it here. That's what I said. Look at it. Oh, it's just Nathan a seems boy. scared of Lily. Yep. Lily is truly menacing here. Is she scolding Nathan or telling him to do something? So maybe Mommy was right then. He does see himself as this little boy. Oh, there's, there were two boats here. I thought it was just one. Let's go save that little boy then. Island, that's Big island is. over there in the distance. That must be where Nathan went. Yep, another drawing. He's leaving a trail then. Did he leave in a hurry? Whoa. Uh -oh. Nathan looks totally petrified in this picture. There's the smoky lights again. Lily must be in a dark place here. A scary face on a painting. This must have been after Lily started having mental problems. Not a painting. Hmm. So I can look at them like it's a story. Maybe do I need to put them in the right order then? Life boy. Sad looking thing. I'd be surprised if it even floats. Why can I look at it then? Painted text. Faith. The name of the boat, I guess. Right, and she said it's not working. You need to fix it up. This or boat must be what Sue was talking about. But how? Hmm. I'm no mechanic. No oars. Guess I'll have to rely on that engine to get around. That will probably go well. All right, let's see here. Well, crap, the tank's empty. I'll have to find some kind of fuel for that, which means that I need to get my hands on a gas can first. <gasps> Looks like one of the Back spark plugs is busted too. I'll take that with me. Hopefully I can find a matching replacement plug somewhere. If I remember correctly, there's a gas can at the attic at Grandma's house. I think I saw that there. So I thought I could just jump in the boat and go to the island and save Nathan, but I'll have to go to all these locations to get stuff. Or was it maybe in the locker? The place with the lockers. No, it's not here. No, it's in the storage facility. I remembered it wrong. And I need, what did she say, spark plug or something? Wait. It's a busted spark plug from the boat engine. I can compare this with others like it to try and find a good replacement. So where can I find a spark plug then? I don't know that. To others, she said. Oh! Bring up the gussy papers found in the storage. Let it be, it doesn't matter now. Well, it kind of matters because Kathy was really emotional about it, so I'll say it. Hi, Grandma. Listen, I found something in this storage unit. Oh? What was it? You don't know? Custody papers with my name on them. I was hoping you wouldn't have to see those. Yeah, she knew. I need to know what happened, Grandma. Ah, <sighs> Sharon was never a good mother to you, Kathy. I know. It was the illness. She tried her best. It wasn't all bad. 
You don't know the despicable things she and Brian did. Drugs, violence. We wanted something better for you. Joseph started talking to lawyers, staying up late at night on the phone, trying to find a way, some kind of loophole to get you back. But eventually we ran out of courts to appeal to and your mother retaliated with a restraining order. And that was it. She had won. I wish things could have been different. I do too, dear. Every day. Now you're getting me close to tears. Aww. Let's talk about something else. <laughs> okay, Grandma. Achievement! Got city closure. Alright, so I'm glad I did that. Um, yeah, but there's nothing here I can use. Miniature plane. An intricate toy. I remember playing. No, I thought maybe I could use the parts, but... No. Sorry for bothering you, Grandma. So the storage facility, how do you call it, but the storage lockers are, that has the gas can in it then. And I need a spark plug, but where would that be? Maybe in the lawnmower? I did see gas can somewhere, I'm sure of it. An old gas powered lawnmower. Looks like it's in pretty good shape. Maybe it's in the police station. Hmm, let's see here. Aha, same plug size. I'll take a good spark plug and throw away the busted one. Yep, that's what I wanted you to do. So I have a good one now. Alright, so it didn't go here for nothing. So the gas can is at the police station then. Because that makes sense, because why would a police station not have a gas can on hand? <laughs> it's totally... It doesn't make sense at all. But... It is what it is. At least I know where I have to look. I hope that stupid priest leaves me alone. It doesn't say something obnoxious. Yes, here it is. See, I knew it was somewhere. I'll just borrow this for a while. Rats. Feels empty. I'll have to get gas elsewhere. Really? Oh, I thought I was done. Where am I gonna get gas? I don't know that. <sighs> Annoying. Do I need to take it out of my bike? She won't do that, I don't think she will. She loves that bike. No. So then where to find gas? Can I put booze in it? Probably not. I want to use it on the booze. That's kind of an arbitrary thing. Use it on grandma. I don't need to show her. No, but I need it to be filled. What then? I don't know. Where can I find gas? I don't know that. Storage facility, I can't go back there. Do I need to take gas out of the boat? But I need it for the boat. I'll just go back there, I don't know. I'll put the spark plug in at least. And let's see what happens. I mean, I could put it on my bike, but... Oh, I can. Okay, girl, time for you to do your part. Good thing I topped you up at the gas station this morning. She would do that. Okay, that should be enough. Alright, so to the boat. I have a spark plug that's working and I have gas. So hopefully that's enough. I'm on a boat. Fits like a glove. Moment of truth. I am a mechanic after all. I fixed it up. Yes. Time to hit the water. Let's go. Finally. There she goes. Faster, faster. We're at the island. This is 
the other boat? That's the other boat. Nathan must be around. I have to say, I really like the style of drawing. At least I think this is a drawing or an artist who made this. It looks good. I can only go to the treehouse. So he's probably in the treehouse then. Because he feels and acts like a child. More drawings. Let's pick those up. I think they tell a story. I have to put them in the right order and they will tell me what happened. Lily floats dead in the water. Did she truly want to die like this? Oh, and he's crying. Nathan is distraught after Lily's death. Yeah, I can't cold. imagine the horror of that night. Poor kids. Next one? She's happy here. Lily is painting a happy landscape on a canvas. This must be the early days. Nathan is happily drawing something on the floor. A rope ladder has been pulled up to the treehouse. There's no way I can reach that. If Nathan is up there, maybe I can convince him to come down. Yeah, but how? Tree. Now that's a big tree. Good choice for a treehouse. I don't see any low branches, so it doesn't look very climbable. Unless you're a monkey. Nathan! You up there? Go away! No girls allowed! <laughs> well, at least he's well, there. Well, that went great. <laughs> he didn't. So, uh, do I have to put them in the right order somehow? I don't know how I can do that, though. Or do I need to show him one, maybe? Which one? Maybe the happy one? Not a bad idea, but these drawings don't seem complete. I should make sure I have all of them first. All of them? Wait. Where are more paintings then? But there was nothing more. Oh, there's one more here. Yes, missed that one. All right, now what? The siblings are holding hands as they watch the smoky lights in the forest. I wonder if they are afraid or if they are in awe. This is how it started. It seems like Lily and Nathan encountered the smoky lights in the forest too. The siblings are, I wonder. Alright, so do I have every painting now? I hope so. It's kind of hard to see because of the pixels in this game, so... Again. Does she do it now? Hey! Nathan! I know what happened with you and Lily. Nuh-uh! -uh. Yes, I do. In the beginning... See, so I have to choose. This one, I think, when I see the lights. Or this one, when they're happy. You and your sister were happy and carefree. You both enjoy drawing. Then, one day... Sunlights? You met the strange floating lights in the forest. After that... After that... This one, I think, scary art. Or angry Lily. Lily started painting scary things. And then, Lily became angry. She wanted you to do something. In the end, this one. something terrible happened. And Lily drowned in the lake. I had pruny fingers. Yeah? It's hard to hear you up there, Nathan. Can you come down? Okay. I did it! That was the right order. In one go. Oh, he's big. Lily was angry that time. Angry and sad. Mostly angry. Angry with you? Angry with everybody. Mama was asleep. Papa too. Okay, what happened next? Lily wanted to go down to the lake. She told me to hold her under the water for a while. 
She said I had to. She had painted it, and everything she painted was supposed to happen. I, I didn't want to, but Lily said she would tell Mama that I was bad if I didn't. But the Red Man says it was an accident, and that Lily is in a better place. It's okay, Nathan. Lily was sick. It's not anyone's fault. When did you first meet the Red Man? I don't know. I, I see him in the woods sometimes. He and Lily always fought. You still they did. Him? Uh, about what? He wanted Lily to take her medicine. What kind of medicine? What kind of medicine? Pills to make her less sad and angry? I don't know. Just medicine. But you know what? It's okay. I still talk to her all the time. You talk to Lily? And she talks back. Yeah, that's kind of weird. Yes. Take me to her, Nathan. Take me to Lily. Okay. And now what? I'm gonna get brainwashed? I don't think that's a good so, idea. So, what are we waiting for? Black hole. Shh, they're close! Uh oh. See? Totally See? A good idea. <laughs> oh shit. We need to get away from them, Nathan. They're dangerous. <laughs> no! They're nice! Is. Poor little Mender met her end. Witnessed so much she couldn't comprehend. Claimed by the lake, she screamed to her god. Struggled for air as she twisted and clawed. But all was in vain, and her cries went unheard. Twas a heartbreaking theater of the absurd. He's in the church. Ooh. You uh -oh. could just clap, you know. <sighs> no appreciation for the performing arts. What is going on? There, there. You're being dramatic. Is it all those secrets piling up behind your face? No pain, no gain. At least that color looks good on you. Well then, it's always a pleasure, Bill. What is going on? Jesus! Wakey, wakey! They're gone now. You know what, Kathy? What? I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Nathan. Let's get you home. He's funny. Poor guy. I don't think he understands any of this. Maybe that's a good thing. I should mark the spot he brought me to on my map. Oh right, that was what I was doing. The lake. Hmm. Two points can make a line, but that's not really a proper shape yet. No, I need a triangle, I think. Oh, and what did the red man say? The secrets piling up behind your face? Yep, back to the church. And then... Look at the painting. Probably something's behind it. Maybe a key to open that cabinet. Where are you? Portraits. What is behind you? A hidden safe. Oh, a safe. But I don't know the code. There's also a poem here written by Father Bill. I copied it to my notepad. Okay. The code to the safe must be hidden somewhere in this poem. Yeah, I get it then. Father Bill mentions his wife and children. Maybe there are some connections to his family? Oh, that's why I need the crypt or the mausoleum. I lie in the center of the mark of the Lord. My wife gazes down as my son stand below. I witnessed three dawns felt warmth on my skin. Their radiant bronze lay nearby, not within. From east to west, I touched every soul. From lasting to brief, their parts made a whole. All right. I'm sure there's a hidden meaning in this, but I'm sure. I'm sure. Yeah, I need to go back to the mausoleum. Nothing changed here, no. Because he says, I lie in the middle, that's true. And his 
sons are below him, that's also true. Well, technically one is still alive, but he has his spot reserved. says I lie in the middle. In the text, Father Bill's family members are used as reference points. Could he be referring to the physical layout of the graves? Yeah, duh. I already said that. You're very slow. What do, are you I copy the grave layout to my notebook next to the poem. All right. That helps me. Where's my notepad? Oh, wait. This information should relate to the poem somehow. It's a puzzle. I lie in the center of the mark of the Lord. My wife gazes down as my son stands below. So the solution to this first part is I lie in the center, that's Father Bill or William. My wife gazes down, that's Henrietta, and the mark of the Lord is a cross. Where Henrietta gazes down on her sons, Joshua and Isaac, so the shape should look like this. Of course! The sign of the Lord! Some of the graves can form the shape of a cross! Finally. Now, if I can only figure out which dates are relevant. I witnessed three dawns, felt warmth on my skin. The radiant bronze lay nearby, not within. I can select the dates. Like this. Alright. So the day they were burned and the day they die. He's still alive, Isaac. Lay nearby, not within. Felt warmth on my skin. I don't understand this. Three dawns. It has to be an allegory for something on the graves. So three births, maybe? So three people? Felt warmth on my skin. The radiant bronze lay nearby, not within. So is that one, two? Yes, that must be it. Three dawns mean three births, and they're all adjacent to Father Bill's grave. I'm the bestest. I'm sure I'm close now. I just have to somehow narrow down these to the correct number of digits. From east to west, I touched every soul. So from east to west. No, other way. East to west. I touched every soul from lasting to brief. Their parts made a whole. I think this section tells me in what order I should pick the digits to reconstruct the code. Yeah, that doesn't help me, I already knew that. So what you have to do to complete this part is go from right to left, or east to west, and go from lasting to brief, which means from longest to shortest. In other words, do this, pick the year Joshua was born, the month Agatha was born, and the day Henrietta was born. From oh, that's it. lasting to brief, year, month, day, that's gotta be it! And now what? I have the code. 611122. Do I have to remember that? I'm gone. <laughs> I just disappeared. Where am I? Oh, <laughs> I was behind there. All right. Did you like this video? Check out my other videos on my page, follow me, go, and don't forget to subscribe. <laughs>